All right. Okay, uh, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do some neck cranks, and uh, neck cranks are uh, a lot different than chokes. You, know, you slap a choke on somebody, uh, you're cutting their blood supply off. You're putting them to sleep. With neck cranks, uh, you know you're putting somebody in pain, and they're in conscious pain. Uh, Jason is is quickly becoming a master of the neck cranks, and I'm gonna do a few uh, neck cranks on him. Uh, the first one is down from a referee position. Let's start down in the referee position. And what you want to do, what you want to do with this one is you want to step in and take his arm right here, right, right at the tricep. And I'm going to shoot through with the sharp bone and I'm going to put him into a seated position. And then when I have him in a seated position, I'm going to apply the crank. So go over there a little bit more so we got some room. And you go here, and you drop it here, and you start shooting. And as he starts to sit, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to get that my grip, which is my three finger grip. Then I'm going to sit my stomach in and drive down for the tap here. So all I'm doing here is I'm coming across here. See the uh, orbital bone right here, right around the eye socket. Coming through here with the sharp bone grabbing and then I'm pressing down for the tap. That's one neck crank. Another neck crank that sort of like bread and butter uh, neck crank is uh, right off of a front headlock. So if Jason's down here, we'll do it down from the knees again. If Jason's down here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put his body close into me the entire time. I'm gonna hand on his tricep. Now if you're an MMA, you can get a nice shot into the temple from here. Take your fist, blast him into the temple. If you're in grappling, you wanna still use your fist and you wanna drive his face across. Now the key to this one is partly in the turning of your wrist. Without even throwing my hips up, I can turn my wrist in like that, right into his face. I'm driving that sharp bone in. So you see you're getting the tap that way. To do the full move, you want to come in here and throw your hips up and out at the same time. So that's the second one. We'll do one more real quick. This one's if Jason's on his back. So Jason's down on his back. I have a full mount. I'm going to do from a full mount is I'm going to go right across his ears and come right across. Then I'm going to grab my own bicep. I'm going to come right up on his forehead. At the same time as I do that, I'm going to drop down and I'm going to put my shoulder right into his neck to get that neck crank. Keep driving my shoulder into his neck. So those are three neck cranks that you guys can use. Uh, we're going to go through all three, I guess, real quick one more time uh, just so you guys get the technique right. First one from a referee position, stepping in, taking his shoulder. I'm going to want to get him in a seated position. So I'm going to pull him in a seated position. As soon as he's in a seated position, I shoot right across, I grab here, actually take the genie bell grip, and then drop forward. Second one is from the front headlock. Front headlock here, tight to your body. Make sure his head's tight to your body. I want to drive the alder bone 